Welcome to tonight's edition of the Business Beats, Want of Viral Fidelity. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Altaviz Mornings. Let's take a look at what's making businesses today. Financial Services Minister Ryan Pinder recognizing that reducing the cost of manufacturing Bahamian products for export and local distribution is a guaranteed method of strengthening the national economy. During a recent visit of the airport industrial park, he noted that energy costs are a huge part of manufacturing overhead, along with labor costs, and pointed out that the government is cognizant that the duty incentives for manufacturers must be reinstated, as well as a revised energy policy that is viable for them as well. In international business, the downturn in the United Kingdom manufacturing industry unexpectedly eased last month as domestic orders boosted output. The closely watched market CIPS Manufacturing Purchasing Managers Index rose to a four-month high of 49.5 in August from a downward revised 45.2 in July, but since the figure is still below 50. From regional business, Grenada Member of Parliament Joseph Gilbert, who once served in Grenada's cabinet, blames current finance minister Nazim Burke for Grenada facing a, quote, worsening financial crisis. He said government's failure to pay public servants their end-of-month August salaries on schedule could not have come at a worse time. Remember, you can send us an email or join us on www.znsbahamas.com or become our friend on ZNS's official Facebook page. And that will end tonight's edition of the Business Beat, sponsored by Royal Fidelity. I'm Alta Viz Thanks so much for watching.